hello guys uh, welcome to the next part of this video uh, we are going to see how to use third party libraries in our project uh, so to use these third party frameworks uh, we need we are going to use uh, the depend dependency manager sorry uh, which is called cocoa pods uh, so let's get started to getting started we need to use a terminal and CD and go to the project as you can see that PWT over this terminal uh, shows that where we are so we are on a YouTube videos folder and projects and so on okay so as you can see that we are easy we are here so there are only two files one is xcode files and one is folder which contains all these swift files and resources okay so to start with the cocoa pods we need to type pod then uh, init this command creates one special file called pod file which contains a list of pods pods here means list of frameworks okay and to install a Cocoa ports you need to type uh, jam uh, sudo jam install and cocoa ports uh, this is the command and you are good to go with the cocoa ports and later you can create any ports uh, using this and now you can see there is a special file over here has been generated okay I can open it and type the ports list but uh, for this video I will do something else I will use this cocoa port special uh, of uh, applications which is made by the cocoa port itself uh, you can find uh, over here cocoa ports .org and or clicking on this app button you are uh, look at this file uh, you can see that uh, this file pod file is open over here and see that list of ports has been installed uh, listed and you can click on this download button and this will be installed in your system so here I have my cocoa ports let's click on and open the port file we need to search for that okay so to do that for the desktop go to uh, desktop and from the YouTube videos projects videos and go and click on this port so as you can see over here that I have opened this frameworks what this uh, pound sign shows that uh, this is a comment in this port file and what else we require is list of the ports so to listing out the ports we need to type port and port uh, in the string port name so okay so for this project I have selected two main frameworks like uh, one is Hanek uh, Hanek yeah which is caching manage image caching management uh, for the uh, iOS so to install that you need to use this command let's copy it and paste in our port file okay uh, this is for caching so let's write over here for the future reference uh, image caching okay and for the station management we can use uh, mm -hmm, swifty json but to install this uh, <laughs> mm. where is the where is where is the command mm 
Hmm. Here you can see that there is one more dependency manager called Carthage, and uh, that command has been given to install the Swifty JSON. So let's type uh, Swifty JSON in our Cocoa ports. I don't know uh, is it specific uh, supporting the Cocoa ports or not, but uh, let's give it a try. Uh, pod and clicking Swifty JSON, which is a JSON manager, and click on the install file. So it has a built in terminal and uh, uh, automatically getting installed all the pods inside the pod file. But uh, my suggestion is to close down this project first uh, because uh, after installing port files we need to open one special file called uh, workspace which contains multiple projects simultaneously uh, where one project is managing all the ports and another project is our own uh, project which is our table view uh, so as you can see over here that uh, uh, it has installed Hanak and Swifty JSON together, Swifty 4.0.0 and Hanak with 1.0.2. And it has already created the special file called tableviews 0.2 uh, and something. Axi was workspace. So open the terminal and you can see over here that there is a multiple has been file has been created. A special folder has been created which is contains all the uh, frameworks uh, and one more uh, file over here which is XC workspace which we need, which we are going to use so open and workspace name which will open special folder uh, file you can see here on the left hand side uh, that there are two uh, projects has been uh, uh, created one is our own that is table view which contains all the files as it is uh, but uh, something special for configurations over here and one more project is called ports which contains ports uh, specifically this is you can see that our pod file with uh, written uh, frameworks and over here you can see that two files, uh, two uh, frameworks with uh, supported files. So, what we are going to use is Hanak is for image cache. So, we need to use that first. Uh, before that, we need to uh, need to search that part, the image caching, where we are going to use this. Uh, yeah. So as you can see over here, that is the image we are getting. So uh, this is around uh, 42, uh, 5 and uh, 13 lines of code you guys are seeing over here. So uh, to manage the cache, I'm um, sorry, to load the image from the um, model. First of all, we are converting that URL into data and data automatically be converting to image and we are showing that in, into image view accordingly so uh, to use this we need to import that uh, HANEC thing first yeah let's build it up as you can see uh, the application is not being module is not being found so let's clean it up but you can see over here there is no any nothing happen over here so let's stop it with the things yeah firstly sorry but guys I have to let's reopen the uh, table using our workspace uh, <coughs> containing ports and uh, our project so uh, for that uh, we need to uh, 
first we are going to use HANA uh, use which manages caches for each and every uh, images what the HANA do is uh, managing the each file name with the paths uh, and uh, its uh, URL and its data so later we come uh, when it's going to load that image that matches that key and here that key is URL so uh, uh, this is how they are going to use uh, let's see the port okay so indexing has been over now so, and let's click the first uh, build button so this error should go and uh, later we use uh, swift json that will use to convert that uh, lengthy part of our application like to convert uh, each every json of this to the this part and uh, converting into movies json all that that stuff is going into over here Mm -hmm. as you can see over here that this module is not found let's clean it again let's check the yeah it's going to index the yeah quick 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 yeah for that we need to use uh, one more thing over here which is uh, swifty json let's check the swifty json yeah so Swifty JSON. What Swifty JSON do is, uh, it is going to convert your JSON data into our understandable JSON object, which uh, gives built-in data types to automatically. We need to forcefully uh, convert the data types to a particular, like uh, as uh, forcefully to string, as forcefully to double, as forcefully to something but here they give built in property like dot double means it's converting zero json or zero positions value to automatically a double value so name here over here is a double value uh, that's where they give uh, lots of properties over here like you can see that uh, it's going to nested like thing uh, like one uh, contains and list and a list contains two second positions and the name position this way it's a uh, creating key path for reaching out to the name so it gives a lots of thing you check this out guys uh, uh, so first of all let's run this up Mm -hmm. our building has been failed uh, but because hanek has been not found don't know why mm, yeah model hanek hanek sorry it's a mistype or mistake so let's open the project and scrolling it down as you can see it's a return in object to see uh, so to set the image with the uh, image view so as you can see over here that setting remote image means uh, it's a uh, we need to pass the URL of the remote URL so that way as I said that it's managed the key value pairing thing 
like uh, url over here is a key and value as a i think a data so whenever it's reaching to this image view next time it will automatically finding out that image url matching this key value pair from the remote URL and load the data from the cache uh, which is not loading which you really can see that uh, automatically uh, not taking a time to load the data from the server so yeah this is how hanak is managing so our application has been run now yeah mm, like Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Oh, uh, it has been similar to fail. Let's rerun. Yeah, build succeeded. And yes, my table view has been run now. yeah finally as you can see that our application run now but uh, to solve this problem i need to manage the cache and we are going to use that stuff of hanek so comment it down existing code and use uh, movie image which is movie and h and k setting a remote url and url and that's it this uh, one two three four five six seven eight eight to ten lines are converted into single one and that's it uh, let's run it yeah guys as you can see that our application is loaded and as you can see Tony of image planet top apps has a same image district uh, 9 has the same image let's move it up and down and as you can see it's not being changed quietly so our work is done now with the handbag let's move to the swifty json part and for that uh, we are going to use uh, <clears throat> yeah over here that first of all clean it let's clean this out first so to do that uh, uh, make sure guys uh, use private init over here so uh, the object of uh, gl api manager is not being created twice so whenever you create a uh, object of uh, let gl uh, is equal to gl api manager this uh, it's, uh, before that uh, it automatically will be created but uh, with this uh, this giving error this will provide an error because uh, we have given this init as a private so and guarding we will use card this let uh, url uh, and url and with string of string of url yeah and so we have uh, written over here one line uh, that says that url is masked if there is no url being created uh, we are not going to further any discussion so <clears throat> now uh, this part is going to uh, convert the 
particular data into a swift value so let's remove that and give a chase a try um, let's move down and yeah you can see over here you can pass the JSON data and do to try yeah JSON has been created so you need to completion and we need to use completion and which is accepting result type which is means this nm type dot success so here success sorry result dot success and it is contain array of uh, thing okay so here we need to forcefully wrap the data because it's a uh, optional type and uh, we need to convert this JSON uh, to array of JSON yeah because array of JSON over here as you can see on the right hand side that uh, it's returning an array of JSON type which is uh, ultimately a dictionary so you can write a JSON over here array of array of JSON yeah so so array of JSON and yeah your work is done now uh, let's build this up uh, let's contain okay yeah uh, the result has no member success so spelling mistake again let's build this yeah one more error uh, here that shows that only accepting a uh, uh, array of string dictionary but we are passing an array of JSON so it's not getting abstract accepting so we need to do a one more change into our model so per over here instead of a string you can write a JSON and import the uh, Swifty JSON yeah Swifty JSON yeah so it's going to done now so as I have said earlier that uh, we can use built-in types over here dot string string values and all that so uh, let's convert that stuff we are sure about that it's a string value so no need to worry just uh, pass this value dot integer or integer value so this stuff and uh, dot string value again float value so use a float value and also array of strings so array object we can use array object as let's keep this as it is because there is no method built in to convert uh, this value into our type uh, okay here warning is casting from json to unrelated type string array uh, is just always fails uh, so we need to use a array of uh, any value which is containing array of string so let's build this up so let's see is there any error not I don't find any error yeah this is done uh, yeah. Oh, 
phone so that's at about uh, Swifty JSON let's rerun the app application should work as before so let's get started Mm -hmm. mm, yes, flash screen taking time to load. Make it, we can make a video on that creating custom flash screen and managing the time too. Uh, it's starting, starting, starting. I don't know what is its uh, XPC connection interruption. I don't know what is it. Let's stop this and rerun again. Yeah, as you can see, app is running fine and it looks nice. Uh, the pay for application. Oh, so uh, that's it in this video, guys. Uh, let's see if there is any remaining thing or not, uh, or we can change anything or not yes guys so, so we can use a uh, uh, third party library in this uh, in this uh, instead of this url session uh, for that uh, let's search for any library for i think yes there is a library in a swift right alamo fire yeah 4.6.0 and yes as you can see over here there is a lots of thing written that how to install the Alma fire and uh, or how to use this this is you should go this complete documentation for that Yeah, as you can see that uh, everything has been written over here, how to call the API, how to create a JSON object, see here it is creating one request for Alma Fire uh, and shows in downloading progress and literally as a response in a JSON point so guys uh, you can check this out this is your homework uh, whether you want to do it or not but that's it in this video so so guys please like this video keep sharing and keep suggesting me how i will try to improve myself and thank you guys that's it